Savage Life family, it seems a crypto pullback is to be expected as rate hikes are going to be coming soon within the next two weeks around February 12th, February 13th. The data is going to be released where the FOMC comes out and speaks whether or not they should raise interest rates and how that is going to affect the economy. So if you look at Bitcoin's current price point, and of course, it's going to affect all the altcoins that you are invested in. We had a negative crossover here under the 50 day moving average crossing under the 200 day moving average here around one in the morning Eastern time. And that was today. So what is that going ahead and telling us is that there is going to be a drop and we do have a support here at $22,800 that we ended up hitting here around the 16th hour of the 31st of January. So do keep an eye out in the charts if you are a trader, especially. So what is to be expected? Now, economists expect the Fed to increase interest rates by 25 basis points. And when someone tells you basis points, put a percentage or a decimal in front of it. So it just means 0.25%. Now that's going to bring it up to 4.75% up from 4.50% in February 1st of 2023. If it's higher than that, it will have a blow to the markets. If it's lower, the markets will spike because that would be some out of the world expectations there. So in other words, a 25 basis point rate hike is already priced into the market. The focus will be whether Powell acknowledges the recent softening in inflation and economic activity bolstering markets hopes for an early pivot toward easing so it's just as what powell is going to end up saying is he saying that inflation is getting better and we have nothing to worry about as we will tackle it this year or is he saying that we have to tighten the economy stronger because inflation is not slowing down is all in his words in that speech and when he finishes i'll go ahead and break down exactly what he talks about so there is a strong possibility that in the press conference powell will be more hawkish and retighten financial conditions for that reason we could see a healthy short-term correction in crypto and all risk assets dropping bitcoin beneath those twenty two thousand five hundred dollar price point levels now another thing i wanted to talk about here is kevin o'leary having some words so he was asked by a news interview that if he believed there will be another ftx fallout or another fallout like ftx and he said quote unquote if you are asking me will there be another meltdown to zero absolutely 100 percent It'll happen and it'll keep happening over and over again. All the unregulated exchanges are having massive outflows right now. Outflows means a lot of individuals are taking their money out of the exchanges, their crypto out of that exchange. The smart buddy has got the joke. They saw what happened in FTX. They're not sitting around for an explanation. If you're not willing to be audited, and I'm speaking about any exchange, if you don't have an auditor, you don't want to be transparent, you don't want to disclose ownership, why should any institutional capital stay there of course i'm not going to that said o'leary isn't bailing on bitcoin he's just speaking on these exchanges and one of the main exchanges that he is speaking on is binance which is currently the largest cryptocurrency exchange on the planet they are not willing to be audited because it's true in a sense what they say that these auditors don't really have credibility anymore because ftx was an audited exchange and look what happened they got paid off and they passed the audit and ftx completely melted down so who's to say that these auditors have any credibility at all but then again institutional investors rather have an audit than no audit at all as it gives them some sort of sense of security so these institutional investors are going to be investing in these exchanges. They're going to be buying their crypto maybe from these exchanges, but taking their crypto out. How Grayscale does where they have a trust where people buy cryptocurrency from them, but they hold the keys and they hold the crypto on a separate cold wallet storage. So there you have it for some crypto currency news. Do expect the Fed rate hike to come soon. I'll go ahead and continue with some regular cryptocurrency news in the near future, meaning tomorrow. I'll catch you guys on the next one. See ya.